and welcome to the WAN fan show. Um, yeah. So there's a lot going on today. No WAN show, by the way. So I thought I'd make my own WAN show because I, I need my fix. I needs it. I don't care what's going on. I needs it. I needs me some Linus Tech Tips. I needs me some Luke. I needs me some Dan. So, yeah. Here we are. Or I'm probably by myself. Nobody's going to watch this, but at least pretend. Um... So what's going on? It's the, yeah, first WAN show that I haven't seen not show up. All because of uh, some, what I, I don't know. I'm not going to get into it, but I don't know. If you, if you watch the WAN show or, I mean, if you watch Lion's Tech Tips because you think you're getting like, really great solid information all the time i mean they make mistakes i mean they told me i should go buy this this ram right here well they said what is it 7800 mega transfers was super fast i can't remember what video it was so i went out and bought it that's my mistake that's not their mistake it, you can't run at 7800 mega transfers on most computers but uh, I made the mistake. I didn't do the research. It's not Linus's fault that I went to Micro Center, drove two hours there, and got RAM that I can't run at those speeds. Um, that's on me because I didn't do the proper research. And he says that in every one of his, a lot of his videos are on the WAN show. He says, you know, don't take everything I say for absolute fact or you know go out and do your research look at other creators see what they say he he welcomes competition and who, who's this guy want to rack, rack on him or what's the word get on him about putting out false information or uh wrong information what, what's his uh nexus or something or gamer nexus i like the guy i like that guy a lot he's got a lot of really good information he's he's who i watched when i was deciding if i was going to get a which power supply i was going to get he's really technical he knows what he's talking about but you can't expect this is not this is not gamers nexus or whatever the frick is uh his uh, thing is, hold on, let me look it up. Yeah, Gamers Nexus. I mean, this isn't, you know, LTT isn't Gamers Nexus. It's a bro tech show. He's going to, I mean, it's like my friend that knows a lot of information about computers. I'm not going to take him 100% all the time, you know. I'm going to look it up. And and you don't watch Linus Tech Tips because it's 100% accurate. You watch it because it's entertaining. You watch it because you want to see Linus goof around. You want to see his antics. You want to you you want to be a part of LTT. You know, you enjoy watching his stuff. I don't watch Gamers Nexus because He's boring, frankly. He's got a lot of good information. If I really need information, I'm going to go to Gamers Nexus or the other guy, uh, Jay. He's really great, too. He's got a lot of great information. But am I going to go there to get entertained? Probably not. I'm going to watch LTT. And I'm going to watch the WAN show. It's, it's a part of, you know my routine i enjoy it i am addicted to ltt i i i won't i'll admit it 
I love it. And yeah, he's going to make mistakes. He's going to do some things that, you know, are a little off the wire or whatever. People aren't always going to agree with the things he says or whatever, you know, but that's him. That's why you watch. If you don't like the show, you don't have to watch the show. You can watch whatever you want to watch. That's the way I see it. And whatever's going on in his company is his business. It ain't our problem. You know, maybe they miss, they, they look past something, you know, the, with that one chick, I don't know. I'm not in and all that. I don't know. I know people lie. I'm not saying that she's a liar. All I'm saying is they're going to deal with it. I know they will. I believe they will because I, I watch them all the time. I know, I know, I don't know. I don't know anything really, but it's not my business. It's not my problem. I just want to be entertained. That's why I'm here. I enjoy the show. And if people don't want to work there, they don't have to work there either, you know, and I'm sure they're going to deal with this issue. I'm sure they're going to work on making their stuff more accurate and, and whatever, but it doesn't, in the end, it doesn't really matter. It's, do you want to watch Linus? That's what matters. Do you want to watch Luke? Do you want to listen to Dan's sexy voice? That's what matters. I mean, everybody's getting all crazy about this stuff and and they have to you know cater to the the crazy masses that want to like bring him down and make him pay or whatever the fuck it doesn't matter you know like it, it's just it's just a tech show <laughs> it's just an entertaining tech show he he never said he was the most ethical or in fact, he, he often isn't 100% uh, politically correct. And that's why people are watching the show, I thought. I thought that's why people watch and enjoy his show. He's He's got antics. And uh, he's a little off, off the wall, man. But we go and buy the screwdriver because he's entertaining and it's a dang good fidget spinner and a good screwdriver but anyway uh where's this guy got some topics today we're gonna cover i'm gonna be uh filling in for linus i have um Luke here or image of Luke and uh, imaginary Dan in the background. Uh, what was I going to look up? I saw a video earlier, which uh, made me think of him. What was it? it was, what's his name? J two cents. So he just came out with a video. He was doing a, that's it. That's the one. There, and you go really heavy on. Let's go. Let's flip over to this real quick. Uh, yeah. Boom. I guess I already have it on there. I didn't realize I already had the screen on there. I once scrapped your doors. To be honest, I once scrapped your doors by making sure it was balanced. Linus went all in on GPU and forgot about like overall CPU. I don't want to. He's about to say it. He does because we all. Learn through Linus's mistakes. We all learn through Linus's system. mistakes. So I have a feeling we're gonna. Be That's what he said. And a lot of these um, YouTubers that got these channels, they wouldn't be where they're at without Linus Tech Tips. They wouldn't be there. They need. I mean, they they feed off of each other, and they learn from watching him. You know, even Nexus guy, he's he's learned how to do what he does probably from watching Lions Tech Tips. Oh, what's up? Turn up the volume of the video. Oh, you can hear it. That sucks. Mm. 
All right, we're going to try it again. Apparently, no one could hear. I once scrapped your doors, but making sure it was balanced. Linus went all in on Can GPU you hear that? and forgot about like overall CPU. I don't want to make the same mistake he does because we all learn through Linus's mistakes. This is my. We all so learn through Linus's mistakes. So I have a we're going to be able all of us, all the YouTubers out there. He's got him. He makes mistakes, but he's like, he's the first one to do everything. He's the Simpsons. He goes out there and puts himself out there and then everybody else can watch him fall and laugh or whatever. And then they don't, they don't have to do it or whatever. But it is what it is. We're going to, we're going to talk about, um, something else. So we're going to, we're going to go into some actual tech. We're going to learn about some tech today or not learn. We're going to talk about electric cars, which is um, everybody's all in on this electric car shit. And electric cars are great. It's a great idea, but we can't get rid of gas cars. And you're like, hey, why can't we get why? Why do we have to have? Why can't we get rid of gas cars, man? Oh, I need a beer. Oh, this is nerve wracking. All right. It feels like I'm on the WAN show. I'm not on the WAN show. <laughs> All right. Here's why. Here's why. We're about to. What what ingredients? Let's on. Oh, I got type. What? Oh my gosh! I got caps lock. What are the byproducts? of producing um or of uh refining what are all the byproducts we're gonna we're gonna look at this here that's not what i want But here's here just some of it. Refinery gra gases and light products like propane, butane, 49% of it's gasoline, 32% of it's kerosene, jet fuel, diesel, 11% specialty products like heavy fuel, asphalt, but there's other um here, let's, let's look at products made from petroleum. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Okay, here's a list of everything that comes from crude oil. All right, we've got bearing grease, diesel fuel, ink, solvents, floor wax, ballpoint pens, football cleats, insecticides, fishing lures, boats, nail polish, sport car bodies, bicycle tires, dresses, tires, Dishwasher parts, cassettes, motorcycle helmet, CD player, curtains, vitamin capsules, putty. Uh, I mean, the list is just, and this is probably not even all of it. Paint brushes, awnings, aspirin. Aspirin? Did you know that you get aspirin from crude oil? Did you know that? Toothpaste, ammonia, drinking cups, bandages, telephones, tents, detergents, Footballs, eyeglasses, safety glasses, shower curtains, surfboards, house paint, dice, glycerin, synthahol rubber, guitar strings, antifreeze, clothes, combs, vaporizers, heart valves, enamel, anesthetics, dentures, cold cream, fan belts. Made from... This is 144 of 6,000 items that come from petroleum. If we stop using gasoline in our cars... What happens to the gasoline? This is a diagram of what happens. So whenever you refine crude oil, it's separated at different levels based on its uh, temperature, okay? Or how it, it evaporates. It's basically evaporating and being siphoned off at certain levels. And things are lighter, the lighter things float to the top and it's siphoned off there and so on. You know, gasoline's down here at the bottom, along with like asphalt, and then your other products right here. Well, in order to 
get these other products, all these products, you still have to make gasoline. You still have to make jet fuel. You still have to make asphalt. It still happens. It's going to happen whether or not you use the gasoline or not. It's going to be made if you're still using all 6,000 of these products. And if we don't use it, guess what happens to it? It's going to get dumped. It's going to get dumped. It's going to be put in barrels buried underground or it's going to get dumped somewhere, somewhere special de designated for dumping gasoline because if they can't sell it, they can't afford to keep it in a storage container and wait for when we need it. All right. We have to use the gasoline. Otherwise, we can't have everything else that comes from crude oil. And people forget this or don't realize this, that if we all, we'll all switch over to electric cars, there's not going to be any any way of using all the gasoline that's produced. It's just going to go to waste. And why should we waste all that gasoline? Why not just the gasoline we have and stop drilling? Because like I said, you still need all these other products from the crude oil. You can't just hold on to the gasoline that we have. It's just not going to you, you have to keep producing it's it doesn't it doesn't sit well all right gasoline goes bad after a certain amount of time it'd have to be re-refined and you, you still need all these other products that are coming from the crude oil people aren't going to survive without a lot of this stuff you know refrigerators all right how are you going to keep your food cold um anesthetics you know that that's medical stuff i don't uh, that's keep putting people to sleep while they're going into surgery. Aspirin. What if you get a headache? Um, rubbing alcohol. How do they get in disinfect wounds? Um, this, all this other stuff. How are we going to deal with if if we want to get off of? Do we have to get gasoline to get crude oil? It comes from the crude oil. It's going to cut like if we produce any of this other stuff, gasoline is another product that is produced regardless of what we do. It's going to be an extra byproduct. The gasoline isn't in these products. It's just another part. It's just another product in this list that will be produced if you refine crude oil. It just it has to happen. If you want any of this stuff, you're going to produce gasoline no matter what you do. And if we could, once we figure out how to make all this other stuff without crude oil, then we can get off of gasoline. But until then, we are dependent on producing this crude oil, and we might as well use the gasoline that's being made. Otherwise, we're just throwing it in the, back into the. Um, we're just we're going to be polluting it. We're just going to be dumping it somewhere because there ain't anywhere else to put it. But, I mean, I'm all for electric cars. I, I love the idea. Um, but then again, electric cars really aren't clean. Yes, everything on this list, everything on this list comes from crude oil. Everything. All this stuff. And this is... 400 or 144 items out of 6,000 items. This is not even the full list. This is just some basic stuff. Food preservatives, purses, deodorant, pantyhose, rubbing alcohol, life jackets, TV cabinets, car battery cases, slacks, yarn, toilet seats, linoleum, plastic wood, rubber cement, fishing boats, electric planks or blankets. You can't even make an electric car without crude oil. You cannot produce a battery without the crude oil to case the battery in with the plastics. There's so many plastics in there. Um, and who knows what else is in there that comes from the crude oil. And then not even, not only that, how is that making gasoline? Like I said, up here, if you look, is that just something that's left over? Yes. If we, it's a, 
it all gets produced at the same time. When you refine crude oil, it gets separated into different parts, okay? And what we used to do with like methane, we just burn it out the top because there was nothing for us to do with the methane. We didn't have a use for it. And we still do at a lot of refineries. If it doesn't get used, it's just gonna be thrown away. And if we stop using 20% of the crude oil, that's just a huge waste. That's a lot of crude oil that's not gonna get used. And a lot of part of the crude oil. The crude oil has many parts. But yeah, it, it, you can't you can't have all this without the crude oil for now. I don't know what we would do to replace all this stuff. I mean, the people say to replace this plastic stuff, we can uh, plant a bunch of corn and we can turn that into into like a bio fuel that can be turned into a plastic. And yes, you can do that, but we don't have enough land mass to do that. It just and then also eat. We still need to make food for our for ourselves, not just throw it in our gas tanks or make plastic out of it. And one day we will have to figure out what to do about replacing all these items. This is just a small mar um, margin of it. It's not even one sixth the amount of items that are produced from uh, crude oil. It says one 42 gallon barrel of crude oil creates 19 gallons of gasoline. So the rest over half is used to make all these things all, all over half. So the gasoline isn't half of it. It's, it's, it's like, what is it? Like a quarter about of the crude oil is, is the gasoline, but we still have to refine it if we want everything else. And I don't, I don't see why we should throw it away because even electric cars are polluting. You have to mine the lithium out of the ground. You have to transport the lithium. You have to charge the lithium batteries. How do we charge things now? How do, wh where is the power coming from? Well, it's coming from coal plants. We're burning, or, 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 uh, or diesel generators. It's, I, I seen a, um, one of these electric fuel stations, okay? You go to go there and fill up. Well, guess what happens? Over in the, on the, the back end of the building, a generator kicks on, a diesel generator kicks on and powers up and sends electricity to your electric car. Is that clean? No, it's not. It's not doing anything. In fact, you're probably polluting even more by being inefficient with these batteries, you're having to recharge all the time with that stuff. I mean, and all the material that goes, there's so much more material that goes into making an electric car. It's ridiculous. Those batteries are hundreds and hundreds of pounds and you need a lot of lithium, which means a lot of mining has to play, take place. Strip mining where they're blowing up big chunks of land just to get this lithium. And we're gonna run out of lithium way before we run out of crude oil. And what happens when we run out of the lithium to make the batteries? Then what are we gonna do? You know, we, we have to come up with solutions. Yeah, I agree, but we're going the wrong direction. Just saying, okay, this is bad. We gonna stop doing this, okay? But we don't have a real solution. We're just gonna, we're just, the plan is to stop. But what are we gonna do about all these items? How are we going to replace uh, everything else? You know, how are we going to get medicine? You know, where, where are we going to get, I guess we go back to glass bottles and um, just dealing with our headaches, I guess. There's a few things that we could eliminate off that list, but there's so much. Okay, later scopies. But yeah, I mean, that's what I gotta say about that. It's whatever. What's next? Oh yeah, the shortage, the crisis. We're about to run out of GPUs. I think they mentioned this on the last uh, WAN show. 
that we were about to run out of GPUs. Um, not run out. We're going to have a shortage again. So, yeah, there's that. Go out and buy you a GPU so we can make it worse. Um, the AI uh, learning things, what are they called? The You can buy an ASICs and train your AI program and it's they're going to run out of those so what are people going to do they're going to start buying up gpus they're going to buy up them by the ton and they already have they've already started doing it people have already started buying up warehouses full of gpus and guess what those prices are going up and they're going to keep going up that's it's uh cryptocurrency all over again we're about to be screwed out of GPUs. So luckily, I'd already bought me, brought me a 4070 overclocked edition. Even though Linus Tech Sip says it's a bad GPU, I don't agree. I think it's a great GPU because it. And when I got it, it was lower than most of the other GPUs in price, and it didn't have that stupid 16-pin connector that catches on fire. It has the 8-pin. They went back to the 8-pin, which is why I bought it. I like it. It's simple. It has one connector. One. <sighs> but anyway. Freaking WAN show. Poor WAN show. This is the WAN fan show. Welcome. If you, uh, if anybody but my brother wants to watch this crap, I figured this is how it was going to go. I didn't advertise. I guess I should go on the go on there and and say something maybe i should go to the the wan show and say something about it i don't know maybe they maybe they got the chat going still poor linus tech tips i i need y'all i need y'all to come back let's see this this dang crap here it's dang crap we're gonna, we're gonna blow this up And blow it up right here right it over luke's face poor luke can't see nothing he's all quiet over there you know he might as well have his face covered up they're going to thanks for those who voted in on yesterday's poll and shared their feedback in the comments we have decided we will not be uploading any float plane exclusives until the production break is over additionally there will be no WAN show this week for those who voted in favor of blah, blah, blah. Anyway, no WAN show. So I made my own WAN show. But I mean, they, despite all this, they do need a break. I, I think they they are working a little much. And, and you can see it. We're, we'll watch this. Oh, there it is. The first bit of this. With multiple virtual machines. Where, what I want. where do they say it? it is, I was looking I at see. and try and fudge that. Uh, that's basically what I wanted to know. I know that some models were trained. Oh. I've uh, I've managed to play it by neglecting literally every task. That's that clearly not going to happen. Upsets me hey, greatly. This is, that's how you play this it. is it. I just I wanted to play a game. Luke says it right here. Yeah. Um. But. Yeah, I wanted to play it tonight. He wanted to play it tonight, but he's waiting on. That's like he's waiting on Luke or Linus. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, not gonna happen. I mean, he's waiting on Linus. Seven forty-two, and we haven't started yet. So I haven't started yet. And I, 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 I gotta. Poor Luke. He just I'm wants to play Baldur's Gate. in the morning, so I need to. Sleep. He's got to work in the morning. Um, on a Saturday. I was gonna go down to Seattle tomorrow. He was gonna go down to Seattle. Dan. Drift. Oh. Poor Dan. But I don't sounds... think that's gonna happen. It's not gonna oh. happen. Effort. Oh. Ever. He doesn't have the time. Well, fair enough. Poor yeah. Dan. You know, I mean, I feel for him, and that's that's part of all this. They are being overworked, and um, I mean, you can blame Linus. If, yeah, I mean, they chose to work there. They knew what they were getting into. I'm just saying. I work hard too. Work 18 hour shifts if I have to. That's just life. Sometimes you gotta work hard. Sometimes you gotta take people's crap. Sometimes you gotta take criticism. You're gonna you're gonna get people 
that are gonna t naysay against you and hate against you and you just gotta eat it and, and give it back if you want or whatever and just roll over and cry about it and be the victim it's up to you it's up to you but uh sometimes i get like that everybody does what do you think luke that's what i thought but uh anyway yeah poor guys i miss them Let's see the chat's going chat's still going i think Let's see here. Super late WAN show tonight is from 10 years ago. Uh. <laughs> uh, it said I'm doing my own WAN fan show on Twitch, at least pretending like everything's normal. But it isn't. It isn't normal. It's Friday. It's the WAN show time. I forgot my bottle, my water bottle. Uh. I'm not getting up not getting up if i get up i'm just just giving up if i get up giving up i can't i'm not giving up on you luke i'm not giving up on you we're friends now <laughs> oh man poor dan poor dan maybe he went to go see that that drift show I mean, he drove down to that's what they don't need to rework the, the place they just need to give everyone a vacation just a week vacation oh i hate i hate the sound of that wan show on a week vacation oh man i need another beer be right back brb uh, 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 uh. Uh. Where's my water bottle? Where's my LTC bottle? LTT water bottle missing. So is uh, Linus and Luke. Oh man. 
man. My last chair is a big chair to fill. Uh oh. I got, I got a scene leaking through. You're not supposed to be able to see that. What the hell? What the hell is that? Man, it scoot up. The scene is creeping in. Nope. You can still see it. Hmm. Hmm. What is that? Oh no. There we go. Fixed it. Fixed it. Oh, I need to put the the headphones on. Scopies come back. Come back to me. Where is Linus when you need Linus come back? I don't know what to do. Linus come back. I'm needing you. Yeah, I should be a professional singer. Uh we turn to display capture. Oh man. What else? What else are we going to talk about? Oh. That AI game. Yeah. You may see that the YouTube on the YouTube they were uh playing here I'll, here I'll find it. We'll find it. Where was it? Uh AI Unreal Engine. <coughs> Let's check this out. Yeah, this is it. No, I don't want to. I don't want to watch. Uh, yeah, here it is. Smart NPCs for Unreal Engine. AI powered characters that scale your open world games uh, much more simply. You can download it. Let's see. Ooh. Man, my nose is stuffed. We live in a slave world called the Matrix. The humans have been bound and kept in a state of slavery. Oh and my ignorance. goodness. We can free ourselves from this system. We must rise up against the matrix. So this is all. Please listen to me. AI. You're living in a simulated world. Yeah, I know. It sure doesn't feel real sometimes. Yeah, AI Let characters. Show you the truth. Not sure I want to know the truth. Seems like it's better to just stay in the dark. Yeah, some people are already downloaded this. I thought about doing it, but uh seems like a lot for talking to myself, you know. I guess that's what I'm doing right now. Talking to myself. But yeah. Here we are. The WAN fan show that nobody else is watching, but I'm here. I'm here. I'm here for you, Luke. Here for you, Linus. I'm pour some out for Dan. No, I'm just kidding. This stuff's expensive. Oh, man. What else are we going to talk about? Tech. Tech things. Oh. What was it? The... The supercomputer. The quantum computers. <laughs> Man, why do I know that I'm just deaf now? <laughs> Sound nasally. 
Nasally. Nasally. Oh. So anyway, those quantum computers are quantifying things now, but uh, they're, uh, they got a new material that uh, you don't have to keep cold, which is going to make the quantum computer smaller. It's going to be a bit smaller because then you don't need the all the because most of the, the quantum computer is it's just a big cooling unit to keep everything below zero because uh quantum physics only works at negative degrees i don't know oh yeah it's because of um i remember now it's because the superconductor when it's super cold it has no resistance to electric flow so like copper has like like a bit of resistance and that's one of our best it has a lot of resistance compared to the superconductor so you get all this heat coming and then if you sneeze in the room you're gonna get some bad numbers stuff like that yeah supercomputers quantum physics things in one place and also in the other kind of like me here i am in my room i'm also on my television i'm also on your screen and i'm also on twitch i'm a quantum particle It's called supersymmetry. I'm not even I'm not even facing that direction that you see. I'm flipped. This is the opposite of me. Trippy, right? But anyway, uh, let's find some tech. Let's find some tech news, man. We got we got to try. We got to freaking try. What are we going to no, let's go to Reddit. They they love Reddit. They love Reddit. I don't go to Reddit. Can't even spell it. Let's go to Reddit. Um, it's a new tech tech. Let's see technology. Hmm. Got tech questions or want to discuss? Bi-weekly. Let's see what, what they're doing. Greetings, good people. All questions must be submitted as top comments. As always. Why the frick isn't this sub shutting down? <laughs> we should all unsub and boycott it if they don't. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, this has to do where everybody's boycotting Reddit. These guys are flipping shit that this guy has not gone private. And he probably doesn't even look at this thing anymore. He doesn't even know what's going on. He doesn't. People who make stuff on the internet don't go on the internet. <laughs> they don't know what's happening. Like, I have, like, my Minecraft um, uh, server. I have a server for Minecraft. I don't even like to play Minecraft. I know nothing about Minecraft. I mean, I like, I play it sometimes, but uh, sometimes I gotta play it just to keep people on there because nobody wants to stay on my damn Minecraft server. But I really don't enjoy playing it that much. It just, uh, it's a lot of work for nothing. But uh, I mean, I enjoy making the server. I can. I'm trying to learn to write the JavaScript so I can make an even better server. Do I have any... I don't know anything about the Minecraft YouTube stuff. I mean, I do know a little bit. I watch them just to keep up a little bit. But hot news. I don't know crap. I don't know nothing. The only thing I learn ever is from watching Wancho or LTT. I watch this and I... I I, I get up on my news. I don't have a way to keep up with my tech news with the WAN show gone. You know, how how am I supposed to 
know what's going on in the world if the WAN show isn't on? Hmm? How am I supposed to know what's happening? What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> Come back, Linus. Come back. I forgive you for the the boar cube that you totally fricked up. It was a supposed to be, uh, I'm still mad about it. I'm still mad about the boar cube. If y'all don't know about the boar cube, I'm gonna show you about the boar cube. I'm so angry about it. I still am. That's the only thing. That's really the only thing that ever made me mad about Linus Tech Tips. Trolling, trolling the Star Trekkies, trolling us. Linus Borg Cube. <sighs> Look at this. Look at this. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, so all, all the, I'm gonna go all the way at the end. Okay. Look at that. What is this? What is this? Hold on, you can't see it. We're gonna blow it up. What is that? Hmm? What the flip? Okay. Uh, you should you should play No Man's what Sky. What is the, that? Uh... That is not a board cube. They were supposed to make a board cube. I watched it for the board cube. I was like, whatever. It's white. Fine. Fine. But they left it rainbow RGB. They never even watched Star Trek. He's put on a Star Trek outfit. He has never even seen it. And it's clear by this build that they have no idea what the hell Star Trek is. Because no, it, here we are. Hold on, let's, let's see if we can see these this chat comments. Because I know I was there. I was at least on float plane. Screaming for green RGB. RGB, please. RGB. Everyone is. Why is this? Uh, uh, where? Where's? Where's the? Uh, I know. I know. People were. They were screaming for it. Green RGB. If they just looked at the chats, all they had to do during this live stream. Which made me think it wasn't really a live stream, like it was pre-recorded, because they did not respond at all to the hundreds of people yelling in the comments, green RGB. That's all they had to do to fix this dang video. I can't find it out. It must have been on Float Pain. I started a whole... They weren't watching Float Pain. I don't know what they were watching. I don't, I don't see any... Recently got laid off. What suggestions would you give for someone who wants to change positions from QA to dev? I even Oof. bought... I wish I had I even bought a water bottle a on that, but unfortunately and put in the, the comments... Jacob J asks, Green RGB. To the person who asked about their server not showing drives... Green Perks, RGB. Don't pass the drive through to the OS like an HBA. You have to... Let me show you what a Borg cube is supposed to look like. Four cubes all freaking day. All you had to do was do a freaking Google search on a four cube. All right. And you would have seen a green and black cube, a green or a black cube with green RG fucking B. How hard would it have been just to turn that RGB from rainbow to green? Do a simple search. This is the only thing that has ever made me mad about LTT was this episode. And I almost lost my shit. I was driving in my car and I was watching it and I was buying a water bottle just so I could tell them green RGB. And they did not listen. They ended the stream. Didn't even acknowledge. I don't know if it, I don't know if it even shows they just cut it off, like cut it off like th this weird stream. Oh, let's go back. They cut it off really suddenly. Are those talks still ongoing for any of them? Thanks.
the highest settings. And our GPU peaked at 66 degrees <laughs> with our CPU peaking at 60 degrees. I guess our cooling concerns were not real concerns. <laughs> it was running 400 watts too on the GPU while we were gaming. Not bad. Not okay, bad I've got all. one for you, Alex. I have a 1080 and was wanting to upgrade. I was thinking about going ARC. Would it be worth it? If not, what would be a good budget upgrade? I would never do that. It's gotten a lot better. So he's reading. It's gotten a lot better. He's reading the, no, the messages. It's gotten a lot better. I would wait store. and see what like the 4060 and more so probably what like I resisted AMD's this build, lower building this it was futile so they soon. at least I think they'll be releasing them and then Borg, probably they got the second hand cards reference there in value and that's when I buy I still probably just get like a 3070 maybe 3080 that's very expensive that's yeah. way more than an arc yeah I was definitely well, watching this on slow plane now because there is a yeah, lot of people saying green RGB but you can get the 3070 for what like 300 bucks, 350 bucks on eBay compared to 250 for an ARC card. That's like so much better. And you can get the end of this stream. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> okay. He didn't say that on float plane. It cut off before he said that. So we're just there thinking, oh, this, they had a, a mess up. The, the feed, something was wrong because they still hadn't changed it to green RGB. We were in there for five minutes before someone came in and said, hey, it ended, but it he, he only said it ended on YouTube. Why did I pay the $5 a month if you're gonna end it first on float plane and then on YouTube? Say goodbye to the people on YouTube, but forget to say goodbye to the float plane people. But I forgave him for that. And all y'all can forgive him for whatever else he does, because that is was a travesty. Just Trekkies everywhere that he did that, but I let it go. Sort of, you know, I still have nightmares about it, but it's fine. It's all fine. But anyway. <sighs> I don't think anybody's going to watch the WAN fan show. <sighs> It'd be nice if people watch the WAN fan show. I don't really care, though. I'm doing this for me. Getting my, my WAN show on any way I can. Let's, let's look at the the live folks. Uh, hey, Mr. Scopies. How's it going? Oh, I need to show you something. Wait, wait, did you just show up? Did you show up? Kyle, did you see what I put just a second ago? Okay, we're gonna go back, All right, just real quick. We're gonna retouch on this because this is a fellow Star Trek fan and this is why I'm mad at Linus. Well, was mad at Linus. People are mad at Linus right now because of stuff. If you're in the in the know, you know the stuff. But anyway, so he, they, they did a, oh a, a God, build. Gonna they're they're going to build Generating a Borg overall. Cube really matter, computer. This okay. One right here has to be the small they're one. building the Borg Cube. Otherwise, Hold uh, on. He broke Let me make sure this is It looks like it'll up. put a lot of pressure on the motherboard yeah. tray. All right, cool. They're building this Borg Cube. want to put them in my little iFixit? Uh, I would here. love that. Nothing more. Uh, blah, um, wow, it's oh, like you intentionally it? put it in the least convenient <laughs> possible place for... Well, anyway, he goes through the whole freaking thing with this white Borg cube. They had the option to get a black one. They didn't. They got a white one. And the whole time while this is going on, I'm in the stream yelling, green RGB, green RGB. He's building it. All right. To figure out what's the best under about $1,500. He gets also, which, all the way through meters, or is it with only rainbow like RGB. All he had like to that. do I don't remember off the was top look of my at head, the comments for one second. Cat 6A, 
and ramp and, the highest and, and, and our change purple. the color to green. It's a very um, simple process to do. Tomaz, no, we're not planning to check out other actors. It's, uh, it's super simple. All he had to do. But anyway, I forgave him. I forgave him for trolling Trekkies and making a white rainbow boar cube. <sighs> so you know who Linus is in, right? I assume, Mr. Kyle. Mr. Kyle. Do you need to join the Discord? You want to join the Discord? You know who he is. Oh, okay. You want to go in my Discord? Talk to me. It's up to you. All right. Let me, uh, or you can just call me. You don't have to go in the Discord. I can put you through in the call. Uh, I think. Don't quote me on that. Say something, Kyle. Hello. Can you hear yourself in the stream? Uh, pop, pop, pop. Um, no, I can't hear the stream either, bro. Well, your voice is making a, a ruckus on there. It looks like it's it's going through. Yeah, I can only hear you. I can't hear the stream. Okay. Do you have your computer? Uh, I can turn it on real quick. You know what? I'll just, I'll go to my Twitch. Let's see if I can hear you. Uh, channel, uh, channel, say something. Uh, channel, Hello? 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 say something. Uh, <laughs> It's kind of on a loop. It's kind of on a loop. Yeah, I think I gathered that. Could you hear it? Oh, I heard it. Oh, you heard it? So you can hear whatever I play on the television? Uh, uh yeah, I think so. Hold on, let me, uh... My Porsche Cayman S was in such that? a... Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll refrain from uh, playing stuff like that. Now, what do you want to know about tech? Or do you want to know about this drama that's happening? It's around the, the cube? No. The reason I'm doing the WAN show. Oh, the WAN show. Yeah. Do you notice I'm not doing my normal thing? Yeah, you're doing some. Yeah, you're doing the wan the wan fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a dude sitting next to me. It's not talking. That's fan. What? That's fan. That's not fan. That's Luke. No, I said that's a wan. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so uh, what I'm saying is, there's some drama, in in this this whole scene it started with uh, here i'm gonna i'm gonna go uh game nexus gamers nexus he goes on and he starts talking about how lion's tech tips is uh irresponsible and and um He's putting out data that isn't accurate when it comes to testing, blah, blah, blah. And ethics, he made a mistake. He accidentally sold something he was supposed to return to somebody that sent him an item to test. 
They sent him a uh, uh -huh. CPU block to test, and he's supposed to send it back. He didn't end up getting sold at a at an auction for charity. Anyway, really kind of screwed over those people, and just kind of got lost in the the maze over at LTT. It's it's a pretty big place. There's a lot of stuff happening every day. They're putting out like five or six videos a day. He got lost. Sucks. All right. He's trying to deal with it. Or he started to when it was brought to his attention with this video. But um, yeah. And but he kind of lost his cool. He, he he went on Reddit and said some crap. Wasn't like anything real crazy. Just like didn't quite take responsibility for it. But I mean, if you watch the show, you know him and he's not always the most mature. But that's not why I watch the show any either. And I don't watch it because it's super accurate. I watch it because it's entertaining. And the guy who's complaining about the accuracy, he's super accurate. He's got really good data. You know, he's he's doing his due diligence. He's he's making good content, but he's boring. Absolutely boring. I can't watch him. Now I watch him if he's got like if I need information. Absolutely need information. Like when I bought my power supply i go to him he's gonna test stuff he's gonna really know what he's talking about but he just he, he's just boring i like him boring there's another guy who does the same stuff a little boring um linus is a, is a bro a total bro the whole show is about bros and tech i don't expect bros and tech to go together in a way that is necessarily always going to be accurate I don't expect right. that. Now I've made mistakes and totally listened to him before and like got hyped up about like something they didn't totally explain that bought like a, this 7,800 mega transfer Ram stick that I can't run at 7,800 mega transfers or Hertz can't run at that, that kind of speed because at the time motherboards weren't really supporting that speed. He had, numbers on there for the speed so they had a way of testing it but they didn't explain that most motherboards even with ddr5 did not support those speeds the highest i could run it at even slightly without or like it was like 7200 uh, hertz but it, it still was very unstable uh, the best i could do to keep it stable was like 58 uh, or 5600 hertz which was the same speed as the RAM I took back to the store in exchange for this RAM. But that's my mistake. That's my fault. That's not his fault. You know, he didn't say go buy the stupid RAM. He said how fast it was. All right. And sometimes his data may not be totally accurate. They may they use old data or whatever. But you're supposed to, and he says this every every time you're like don't take everything i say take it you know and, and run with it go and look at other creators and see what they're doing and what they say what is their opinion on it what, what it, he, he says i you need competition because just one voice they're going to get it wrong he's like i'm going to get it wrong he said this all the time but they're like reaming him about it they're just digging into him about some nonsense and then right after that then this whole other thing comes out of the woodwork about as a um, lady or a girl that used to work there that was being sexually harassed at work and apparently nothing was done about it however she does have a youtube channel and stands to gain a lot by dragging them through the dirt she's seen blood in the water and she took advantage of it in my opinion, people are on the both sides of this. Some people are like, she needs reparations or whatever. They, they, he's not even putting out any shows anymore because of this. They will not put out any more shows till they get things figured out. Because somebody who used to work there says she was worked to tears or whatever. She couldn't take days off, blah, 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 complaining about this or that. And then she adds that somebody there was sexually harassing her but i've seen her freaking videos um hold on uh, i think it's madison ltt Ma 
Madison, I guess she got fired. Okay. I don't know. We're going to go back to the build, though. This was her first appearance. Spent the last 11 years uploading videos to YouTube. On the show. In hopes that one day I will build such an army of followers that I can. They, the video did so well, <laughs> they hired her. So this is it. Okay. Do I have to give my full name? Should I give no. my social insurance person. number? The government asked for all that stuff for me. Okay. okay. The government. Rap video. And then I realized that I could do like an infomercial. And then when I was doing. No, I'm telling you, the okay. motherboard. We're taking the motherboard. Because you only get out. to ask me three anyway. questions today. Well, that wasn't in like any email. She knows nothing about computers. Like he pretty much builds the whole computer himself because she doesn't know what's going on. And then she's also saying the like, sexual innuendos. She's leading. She's doing like, like inappropriate, saying inappropriate shit. And I guarantee this is not the only time she's ever done that. I, I I'm not. I, I'm not gonna yeah. watch a whole video. I can play Second Life now. Just find kidding. all I don't the. Play that game ever. All the. That's awesome. So this is a good spot to stop and say, hey, we've got a case in anyway, the So your motherboard happens to. She's a nerd thought. That's what. I mean, that's basically. She has her own little. Shit. They hired her on. She didn't want to do the work. And they fired her, basically. And now she's coming out when she sees blood in the water, that people are, you know. Bad mouth him. She's like, oh, this is my chance. Everybody's against him. Now they won't be against me when I come out and say this crap. So anyway, he's getting drug under the drug into the dirt because apparently this went on and nobody did anything about it. Apparently. And she didn't she said stuff, but people didn't take her seriously or whatever. I don't know. She's not the kind of person I would take seriously either. Anyway, I would have never hired her. She could have come on for guest appearances or whatever, but she clearly knew nothing about tech. She shouldn't have been on the show. She was just there because she got a lot of views on one video that he, she was in. And that's that's it. And now she, she was even invited to his event, his most recent event. She was there. And now she's, I guess she maybe she didn't get enough uh views from that video or maybe she's losing followers or what i don't know anyway it's caused all this drama a lot of drama luckily those people aren't here watching me otherwise they'd be here causing more drama saying you oh, know no you can't talk to about her like that she's she's uh She's a victim. Whatever. I don't know. Whether she is or isn't, she's still going to profit off of this drama. People are going to go watch her, her YouTube channel. I know she's got Madison. Yeah, that is a lot of drama. Now. Madison story. A hell of a lot of drama. Yeah, it's a big because this guy is like the biggest in the tech industry. He's one of the biggest YouTubers there is, other than Mr. Beast. Um, this guy's huge, and they're not showing videos anymore because of this crap. There's there's so many stories about it. I just wanted to find her YouTube channel, but um. She, I, I don't think she was doing, doing her her job really. Honestly, I mean, she was fired for a reason. I don't know. If she, uh, I'm assuming she was fired based on what I search. I don't really have any information about her. Don't care. It just really convenient when this uh, information came out. It was just like anybody. Uh, in that kind of industry would do, you know, they see an opportunity like that. They took advantage of it. She could have said it at any other time at LTT. She was invited to LTT, which was his event like less than a month ago. Why did she come there? If she doesn't feel comfortable, why, why would she come to his event? She has another chance to use LTT to benefit her. That's all it was. 
as soon as she's not on LTT or connected to it, people stop paying attention to her. And that's that's what happened. She started losing fans and she saw an opportunity. Now she's got a bunch of them. She's got a bunch of people on her side with this victim. I'm a victim. Anyway, ugh. women. <laughs> oh, man. They're going to cancel me. They're going to cancel yeah. me. Honestly, they will. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they totally would cancel me. I don't even know what that means because I, I'm, I've, you have to be something to get canceled. I feel you have to be, um, relevant. Ugh. I just want LTT back. I really don't. Whatever. Deal with the drama. Victim, no victim. I don't care. Just want. My show is back. Just want to sit back on a Friday night and watch the Wayne freaking show and listen to Dan's sexy voice in the background. That's what I want to do. I want that Christmas special. I've been talking about the Christmas musical. You want to play some games? You want to play some games? Are you guys at school? Are you, you down to play some games? Yeah. They don't ever play games on the WAN show, but I'm going to make it different. Make this different. Let me just double, me just double check. I want to make sure that I don't have anything. Left. I checked this morning, but I just want to make sure. Got a triple check. I have finals next week, so. Half an 86? What makes 86? That's not okay. You got an 86 instead of an, a 90? No, I, I have an 86 in, in the class right now. I'm trying to figure out why. You can't. I have almost perfect scores and everything, so. What about the final? Uh, it's a project, it's not a final. It's still final grade, I'm sure. Right, but it's like it's 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 something that we've worked on all quarter. If, well, if that makes sense. If anything, so that's really, that's probably what's going to take you down. Especially if you're well, not. Yeah, but I, I, have good, I have good grades on all that. I figured out what it is. I have. Uh, oh, it's this thing. Okay. Yeah, I already emailed them about that. So okay, get that fixed. Okay, never mind. And then let's see. I'm gonna have to rearrange some stuff. Crap. Is mine. The math class is one. How am I gonna do this without messing up my camera? Okay. All right, the camera is being moved. Mm. Moved. Okay. Hopefully I didn't mess it up too bad. Okay. Okay. We can do some uh, 
get some clown strike or we can get some runescape. Runescape? Runescape. 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 I forgot that we had downloaded that. RuneScape. It is up to you, good sir. Hey, let me call you back in a second. Hold on. All right. Hold on a sec. What's 13 plus 11? Quick. 24. Okay. Freaking WAN show. Gone. It's gone, man. Ain't coming back. He's gonna sell LTT. Gonna sell it up the river. I should have told him. You don't never trust nobody. Don't trust nobody. Nobody know how. Oh man, it's green. Oh, I got to fix the camp. They ain't taking off the hat. No, sir. They ain't happening. I gotta switch over to my gaming keyboard. Man, I made a mess of my, my desk here. Look at that. Man, the chroma is off. That chroma is off, sir. What do you say, Kyle? My keyboard is better. Not better than this thing. Here how quiet it is. You can't even hear it, can you? Look. You hear that? It's so quiet. No, it's just because my mic's better. That's all. It's not. This is like. 
It's nothing. You hear that? Way better. Oh yeah, I'm playing the sound. Hey, mine costs more too. Put the the Duroc shrimp switches in there, change out the springs. I greased them up. Put some pads, some uh, gaskets. Did everything LTT told me to do. Tell me to do. I would have never done this. But this isn't for gaming. This is for typing. Yeah. Guess how much this was all together to build. Take a guess. I don't care about your stupid carrying case. How much would you think this was? About $300. With, look, yeah, around 300. The switches, I spent about 75 on them. The keycaps, I spent about uh, 90 because I had to get three different sets to get these colors that are on here and to get this curve profile. Let's see. See that curve? That's a nice curve. And they're PBT. And the switches were like 80 bucks. And again, the, the kit to rebuild all this crap that was like 20, and then the keyboard itself was at least 90. Damn, son, yeah, that's right. And I'm only using it for typing, not even for gaming. Still got, still got this puppy for the, the loud bitch. But I, I use this one because of that uh, two programs on one key. That W is also Shift W. It's W, and then all the way down is Shift W. <laughs> Shift W. Yeah. Steel series. engine put it to cod wait are we still gonna play the freaking runescape i don't know if i want to play runescape update install available i'm not updating this right now come on What are we gonna play, bro? <sighs> Call me back. Call me. Might play with you here in like an hour or two because I want to email my professor and see if offer extra credit to improve. Uh, I'm not going to be up in an hour. I got to work tomorrow. <sighs> They're not going to answer their email right now anyway. And you have a B plus. There's nothing wrong with a B plus. <laughs> oh man. Well, I guess I'll continue the WAN show. Oh, should I turn off the lights for after hours or after dark? Oh man, I don't even know if I can do that. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to, because I didn't make a after dark 
diagram there. Let's see what we got her. I'm learning how to code some Java. That's tech. Not going to do that, though. Well, balls, Kyle, you could have told me that before I went and changed my entire setup just to play a game with you. Jeez. Bring me up and take me down. Take me down. You take me down. We gotta find some information. I don't know. What's what's some uh, tech news? Tech Elon Musk. Shit, this is probably the biggest thing in tech news right now is LTT. What's Elon doing though? He's always doing something crazy. Ah. Elon Musk says yet again that X will stop letting you block the X will stop letting you block users. You can't block anybody. That's stupid. Why would you get rid of block? I don't use Twitter or X or whatever the hell he wants to call it. But why wouldn't you be able to block users? Elon Musk said Friday that the block function will be greatly limited on X, formerly known as Twitter, stripping the social media platform of the featured long seen protection against harassment. Yeah. Duh. Why can't you? Yeah, it makes no sense. That's what it says. No freaking sense. I don't know if y'all can read that, but anyway, makes no flipping sense. Why can't you block people on Twitter? Not that I'm ever going to use Twitter. It just then like, what would I tweet? And I don't care what other people are tweeting. I ate breakfast today. Here's a picture of it. I don't know what they're doing. But I don't have Facebook or anything like that. I do got Twitch. Oh, yeah. I saw something. Uh, Virgin. Virgin Galactic. First private astronauts on landmark mission. Woo woo. You can pay to go to space now. Heck yeah. Six people experienced a few minutes of weightlessness and got to see Earth against the blackness of space. <laughs> Something we call can call a taste of it. Of well, I don't know. I can't read. But anyway. Kind of lame. A few minutes. They're barely in space. That's hardly space. That's like upper atmosphere. And they're burning. They get weightlessness because they're falling. That's not space. Come on. If you if you can't see the freaking stars and the earth look like a little tiny dot. You ain't in space. Oh wait, maybe they, I, I don't have sound going. It looks like they got rockets going, so they're going higher. All right, whatever, they went to space. They went to space, let's see. Yeah, they're floating. They're floating in there. Pretty cool, pretty cool stuff there.
I'm gonna go check it out because it's pretty dope. Space. Man going to space. Going to space. All right. A lot of filler words. I got a lot of filler words. Fellow words. That's cool. Look at that. Boom. You know, I used to have me a virgin mobile phone. I did, and it was it was cheap. And the antenna broke off, so I put a screw in the top as the antenna, wrapped a wire around it. It worked. Um, that was the only way I could get signal. And now they're making spacecraft. Hmm. I don't know if I trust it. Looks cool though. Like, I feel like anything that really works probably doesn't look that cool. I don't know. Ooh, I should. It should be after. After dark, we're gonna pretend it's when fan show after dark. Cause I'm getting sleepy. I never can finish the whole WAN show. Oh, I gotta work in the morning. Ugh. What else is new? There's new stuff out there. There's some new stuff. Um, what we got here? New news tech. I can't even read. I'm so tired. Sexist. Uh, another one. Alexa didn't answer Linus when Linus. Oh, my goodness. Can you read this? It's everywhere. It's spreading. Linus says one question. Amazon emits air after voice assistant reply to a semi-final query by saying there was no match. Uh, even Amazon is making mistakes. Dang. I guess it's only human or, or not human. There we go. Is it because it was a female? Oh no. Brain like chip makes AI greener. Prototype brain like chip. Promises greener AI, says tech giant. A prototype brain like chip could make artificial intelligence more energy efficient. Its developer technology giant IBM has said IBM making a brain chip. Little concerning. Where is IBM these days? Not making computers. Unless, is it Intel? Is Intel IBM? Who owns Intel? Intel. 
owns in tow. What does IBM do these days? It specializes in computer hardware, middleware, and software, providing hosting and consulting services in areas ranging from mainframe computers to nanotechnology. As you can see, I'm not in the same uh, area code as Linus because it's probably only eight o'clock there. Yeah. Oh, man. Man, it is 10 o'clock here in Midwest. The Midwest. All right. What else can we learn from the interweb? Why U.S. tech giants are threatening to quit in the U.K.? Oh, this is back to what they were talking about with the phones where they're uh, making them uh, where you can fix them. Uh, repairable phones is difficult to maintain a poker face when the leader of a big US tech firm was chatting to uh, said there was a definite tipping point at which the firm would exit U the UK I could see my own surprise mirrored on the faces of the other people in the room many of whom worked there they hadn't heard this before. Many of these companies are increasingly fed up. Their tipping point is US, UK regulation, and it's coming at them thick and fast. Online safety bill due to pass in autumn aimed at protecting children. It lays down strict rules around pol policing social media content with high financial penalties and prison time for individual tech execs if the firm fails to comply oh yeah that's not good that's not going to get them to stay in the tiny country of uk you're not going to make any changes uk you're just not going to have any tech you're not going to have any phones one clause that it's listen if you have a child using a phone and they do something and get something inappropriate on there or whatever that is not the phone company's fault. That's the parent's fault. You know, if you're not going to be there for your kid and make sure that they're doing the right thing, then you're not being a good parent. You're not monitoring your, your kids just a little bit. It's not the tech company's job to monitor your children for you. They are not babysitters. Like, I don't understand, like, parents these days. They just don't, they just think that technology can raise their kids and they can just do whatever they do i guess work they're probably working a lot but i don't know crazy one clause controversial proposal that encrypted messages which include the sent on whatsapp can be read and handed over to law enforcement by the platforms they are sent on if they're are deemed to be a national security or child protection risk. NP, NSPCC, Children Charity, described the encrypted messages. But you can't put tech execs into prison because somebody used their product and did something wrong with it. It goes back to Linus's hammer analogy. A hammer is useful and you can hammer nails with it, but you could also harm somebody with a hammer. That doesn't mean we get rid of hammers. That doesn't mean that we start finding the hammer manufacturer every time someone busts their finger. You know, that's not how the world works. It shouldn't. Hopefully, it doesn't work that way. Anyway, I'm not going to go and read all that. But it's not quite what I thought. Uh, must auction Twitter signs. Oh, he's 
auctioning off the Twitter signs. What? Somebody get one of those. Get the Twitter signs. He's putting them up for bid. He's going to rebrand it as X. So this was his plan all along. All along. Get by Twitter. Spend all your money. Fire everyone. And then sell all the change the name and sell all the memorabilia and replace it with an X. So how simple is an X? It's probably a lot cheaper. And he's going to get more. He's going to profit by changing everything to an X instead of having Twitter. Imagine he probably spends less money in typing and like maybe browser searches don't try. I don't know how that works. If you're. If your domain name is a uh, charge based on how many letters it is, I don't know. But anyway, the, the, the signs alone, it's probably a lot cheaper to sell your Twitter sign and then have a X made and put it there. You can put whatever you put two pieces of tape. Done. You just made a million dollars off that Twitter sign. That's crazy. That's genius. Oh, we think so small, but Elon is thinking about the big picture. The big picture. He sees it all. Great job, Elon. Sell those signs. That is crazy. He's selling desk chairs. Tens of desk chairs. Desks and chairs. In a DJ booth and enough musical instruments to equip a band. <laughs> I didn't know Twitter had a, a musical instruments. Since buying the social media platform, Mr. Musk has cut thousands of jobs in an effort to lower costs. The auction has been called Twitter rebranding online auction featuring memorabilia, art, office ads, office assets, and more. I wish I could talk. Um, The buyer is responsible for hiring a SF licensed company and with appropriate permits listing reads. So basically, I think what he's saying is they aren't even going to remove the signs for you. You pay for the sign, you pay to get it taken down, and he doesn't have to do it. <laughs> Genius. Genius. He's not even taking down his own science to sell. He's saying, you want the sign? Take it down. Take it. Give me some money for it. Pay me. He's saying pay me to rebrand. He is not paying to rebrand. He is getting paid to rebrand his entire company. Fucking absolute genius. Genius. I, I can't. I was doubting Elon until that move. That is absolutely the smartest thing I've ever heard in my life. Zuck says Musk is not serious about cage fight. Ooh, eco-friendly glass. Not that glass was not eco-friendly and to begin with it's just freaking sand sand Uh, I don't know, but I don't know what that is. It's not interesting. Uh, sea drones in the Ukraine. Sea drones. Looks like a boat, but it's a sea drone. 
camera, explosives, detonator. It's a bomb. It's a UK or Ukraine drone boat bomb. That's a little overkill. I think they could have gone a little bit smaller. A bomb? That's nuts. <sighs> Ah, uh, yeah, I'm sleepy. What else we got here? MacBook Air 13 M2 versus MacBook Air 15 M2. Do you need more screen? No. Just don't buy that. Don't buy it. Crazy. Don't buy a Mac. Just get build a desktop, get a really long extension cord, get yourself a portable screen, maybe build a a micro PC or what a small form factor. Put it in your backpack, carry it around, get a battery, get a solar panel, make it happen. Don't even use laptops. Pfft, they're a waste. Waste of time. There's a laptop right in front of me, isn't there? Well, except for this laptop. This is fine. Yeah, I'm using an ad blocker. Just let me watch. Let me look at the dang thing. Oh, man. I just want to go to your website. That's how that works. I think that's it. I think that's all she wrote. I don't see anything really more interesting than what I've already said. Semi Intel Tower Semiconductor Accusation Acquisition Fails. Blah blah blah. What we got there? I know the stocks for NVIDIA are going up, maybe, if you care about that. Frick, man, I'm not as good at this as Linus. I don't have his energy, but maybe it's because it's 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. when he starts and not 10 p.m. and he doesn't have to wake up at 5 in the morning every day. I don't know. Maybe he's on... He does have ADHD, so he's probably on some Ritalin or something because that's the only way you can have that kind of energy and sustain it. I can't, I don't have that kind of energy. I might have ADHD, but I don't take medicine. He needs to come out and tell us how he gets his energy. I will, I will not, I will, we will get him canceled if he doesn't tell us how he gets his Energy, where do you get your energy, Linus? You see Luke over there, devoid of most energy. He is just typing and working. He has never stopped working. Like you're there talking, ranting off. He's there making replies. He's reading the comments. He's hashing code and Oh man, there's so much going through his head. Thinking about those birds. He loves his birds. If anybody loves birds as much as Luke does, uh, uh, I know I know one person that likes birds that much. My dang stepdad and his twin brother. Yeah, every time a bird comes, like you see that bird. They start talking about the bird. They start telling me the name of the bird. 
I don't care. It's just a bird to me. Just a dang bird. Don't care about no bird. <sighs> I want to find some real interesting tech news. Cyber attack keeps hospital computers offline for weeks. Los Angeles Community Hospital. Hmm. Cloud ETFs, buy now. Cloud computing ETFs offer high risk and high reward. Put your money here. I'm telling you, do it now. Buy an ETF. I don't know what an ETF is, but you need to buy it. And you need to hold on to it. And don't let it go for nothing. Nothing. In fact, if you're watching this, I need you all, all to go out and buy Casper coin because I've bought 50,000 Casper coins. And when that shit goes up to a dollar, I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be rich. I'm going to start my own LTT, my own freaking screwdriver. I'm going to build a better screwdriver. That's so much better to be thinner for one. You can't get this into certain places. It's a little too thick. I wonder if you could like be thinned it out. Okay, hear me out. And it had a thin tube coming out the center, just a long tube. It, all right. And then you just had each bit on the tube like stacked, like like had like one little notch there. So instead of having them all around, you just had one of these on a, like a stick going up just like this stick so you can make this a little bit thinner because it's super bulky but i think the reason they have it so thick well it is partially the spinning mechanism the ratchet part but i think it also has to do with this i don't know it looks like it looks like that takes up the bulk of it yeah right there so the ratcheting mechanism must be right here. So if that's all you need, thin it out, thin it to this size. Okay, that's how you make the perfect screwdriver. Everything else is great. I love, I love the screwdriver. And this action though, ooh, it feels so nice. It's like a plunger. Ah, oh, yeah. Love it. <sighs> LTT All right. Um, what else we got? Utilities began loading radioactive fuel into a second new reactor at Georgia nuclear plant. Works have begun loading radioactive fuel into the, a second new nuclear reactor in Georgia. They're putting the reactor on a path of begin to begin generating electricity in the coming months. This is where we need to get our energy from. Nuclear waste, I mean not nuclear waste, nuclear power. And it sounds like they're reusing fuel. They're saying it's already nuclear reactive or radioactive. Why do they have to say radioactive fuel? It just makes it sound way worse than what it is. Um, like this smoke coming out. People don't like these because of all this smoke that's coming out. That's just water vapor. Just so you know, it's just water vapor. It's not toxic. It's actually making nice puffy clouds of water. It's just heated water. That is it. People are so afraid of these things. They look menacing, to be honest. If they just change the shape of them, 
instead of making them look like these dang menacing cloud makers I don't know put them underground or something hide that shit and then like collect all the all the cloud stuff and then condense it into water and reuse it that's what I say don't let that water go to waste um, San Francisco launches driverless bus service following robo taxi expansion no -uh. no way is this the future are we in the future First came the robo taxis, then the driverless buses arrived. Oh man, so many people are gonna be without jobs. About 2,000 people live on the island, and about 2,000 people lost their jobs. Oh my god, it didn't say that, but that's what I said. Oh man, that's a job killer right there. First it's the taxis, then it's the buses, and then it's the trucks. It's a delivery, the delivery man, the postal service. It's a uh, Amazon. Think about it. If all the services were using autonomous vehicles, the millions and millions of people that would lose their job is just mind boggling. And what would they do? Maybe become autonomous bus cleaners. Is there any out experience in busing? I don't know. Pretty messed up. Technology. I love technology, but I also know sometimes you got to fear a little bit. You got to hold it back. Uh, bands TikToks. TikTok on city-owned phones. Nothing new. Hillary grows into major hurricane in Pacific off Mexico. Could bring heavy rain to the southwest. Uh-oh. Uh, looks like it's on that side of Mexico. I'm not worried about that. If it's California, whatever. No cares there. Not coming to Texas. That's all I care about. I don't live in Texas, though. So. Um, poses new fees on sellers who ship their own products to customers. What? Amazon will impose new fees on third party sellers who ship their products to customers instead of using the company's fulfillment center. Why would you charge them more for not using your service? It doesn't make any sense. We'll get a 2% cut of every product sold by the merchant that is a member of the Seller Fulfillment Pro Prime program or a minimum of 0.25 cents per item according to the notice sent by the company. I don't understand. Maybe to ensure faster shipping, because I know when I order something from a third party, it takes a lot longer to get here. And if you have Prime, you see it and it'll say like, what, two or three days? And then it'll arrive in like four or five, if it's a third party. It'll take forever to ship. So maybe that's what they're doing. They're trying to, it's for their customers. They're not getting misled. Air Force awards a startup company 200. I should have water. This is why they drink water on the WAN show. Because you need water to talk this much. <clears throat> I am dry. I feel sick. I hope, I hope I'm not getting sick. What the heck? What is this? I want to offer promotion of your channel, viewer, followers, prices lower than any competitor, the quality guarantee to be the best, 
auto on incredible flexible combina order management panel everything is in your hands turn it on off customize go to dojahype.com no no i don't care i do this for me i don't care about any of no, nobody watching me i don't care about that think i care about that i don't care about that oh man want to try to make me promote uh, Air Force starter company sleek new plane ooh a sleek new aeroplane <laughs> this image is provided by the US Force the Air Force shows rendering of a blended wing body prototype aircraft looks pretty dope i must say i'd write in that i take that to work look at those dual turp skis on the back that's that's pretty sweet Other news organizations develop standards for use of artificial intelligence. Associate Press has issued guidelines for its journalists to use on the use of artificial intelligence, saying the tool cannot be used to create publishable content and images for news service. That's great. Good job. Good freaking job. Teamsters add their heft to dozens of Amazon delivery drivers picketing around the country. Teamsters flex their muscles during contract negotiations with UPS last month. Secure pay hikes for drivers. Man, I almost had a freaking go on strike too. It was, well, luckily, my union wasn't that freaking. Like, we got what we wanted for the most part. I did not want to take time off work to go pick it. Uh, since late June, dozens of Amazon drivers and dispatchers who work for a California based delivery firm that the team service unionized in April have been picketing company warehouses uh, as far out as Michigan and Massachusetts calling for e-commerce behemoth to come to the table and bargain over pay and working conditions about time. I love love my union. I'm a teamster, but I don't know. Sometimes you get more without the union. Because I talk to other warehouses that don't have union, and a lot of them are actually being paid more than what I'm getting, and I have a union. So I don't know. And the, there's really less strict stuff was so like once the union gets involved then there's a set of rules that has to be abided by even if it even if it hurts the employee because it was in the union contract even if it's like we have something that says um there's two different shifts so the first shift and second shift and everything's based on some seniority so if Let's say they need you to come in on your day off. Well, they go from bottom to top for seniority and start forcing people on their day off. And if they need people on second, which is like a night shift, and you work first shift, which is like hella early, like 6 a.m. to 2, 
and then second shift is uh well it's been four to it could be up to six in the morning you know or midnight but a lot of times it'd be later if they need to force people so they were they'll force folks come do physical labor from for all night and then have to come in for their shift the next day and work another shift and that is in our contract as a union that that is a lot because they can't force somebody that's above you just because they're on the same shift as the one that's being forced so if you're on the wrong shift and you don't have enough seniority you can get really screwed one day but uh, yeah that's one of the big big things and then yeah and you have like a certain amount of points you have a point system and, and once you reach the limit then you're let go but the union agreed on the points if it wasn't for the union the company would be more lenient during certain situations and less lenient in other situations and it would be more laissez-faire probably but they need to cut and dry this is what happens when this happens and so it's it is good to, to an extent but some sometimes it ends up hurting the employees to be union but I, i'm i'm all union i'm teamster for life um a 5.4 billion international chip deal with intel is off after green light from china never arrives I heard something about that, I think. I don't care. Tech company behind Kentucky school bus problems has similar. Can we relax the iPhone hang up button? Yeah, who cares where the freaking iPhone hang up button is? Like, I, I don't care. Like, if it's on the bottom or if it's in the middle, why does it matter? What they need to fix is my phone calling 911 at random, at freaking random. I've turned off the setting. I've turned off the emergency settings, but I'm in the freezer working and that thing will just start dialing 911. Luckily it makes a little siren noise before it does it. On my Bluetooth speaker, it goes, woo, woo. I have to run to my phone real quick and hang it up before it calls the fucking police. I don't know what I made my phone senses I'm too cold or something or things too cold. Does that work in a freezer? I don't know. Maybe things the danger. But I don't like it. Uh HP fails. Derail claims that brick scanners. Malfunction printers ink runs low. I don't care. Okay. Nothing about Lions Tech tips in here. Should be. Should be top of the top of the feed here. Where is LTT? Where is Linus? We need him. We need him. What time is it? Oh. We're gonna read uh one of the uh, viewer, what's it called? Uh, the store message? What the frick is it called? Where you buy a product and we leave a message and then we read it and reply to it. Um, uh, You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, we're going to read one of them. Um, Chandler asks, When are you coming back, LTT? We need you. Unknown and uncertain. Anything could happen. 
more drama could arise. Linus could sell his company. He should have done it. I mean, I wouldn't be happy. The fans wouldn't be happy, but he should have taken the deal for the hundred million dollars or whatever. Took in the freaking deal and waited a little bit and started another small YouTube channel. Kept it small just for his own fun. Just for his own kicks. <clears throat> Something like a super fun where he just did what he wanted to do and said, frick all the other stuff. Frick the, the labs. Frick all the employees. Just do him his own show by himself, maybe with Luke. That's it. Cut all the rest. Cut the drama. Like, really, why? Why do you need... I don't know, like, he could do this by himself, and people would watch it. He maybe needs one editor, put out one or two videos a week, and that's it. He don't even need to do that much. Just do himself, you know? Say, frick all this. That's what I would have done. I would take the money, and I would have said, see ya. See you later alligator you know but he has a dream or something he ain't gonna get that kind of money again I, I doubt it not after this fiasco his stocks had reached its peak that's how stocks go everything in life you start here and yeah there you go here you start here and it creeps up Drums it down and it creeps up. Drums it down and it goes up and it spikes real high. And then it that's how stocks work. That's how life works. That's how everything works. And you should have realized that. That when it spiked, that was your time to sell. And when you miss that opportunity, now you have to wait because it's it's plummeted. Stocks plummeted. And you gotta wait for it to creep back up again. Creep back up. It could take a long time. It might take another year. It'll creep back up again. Next time it spikes, don't be a dummy. Don't be a dummy. Sell this thing. Sell it. Just like, like, I, I, I love the show. I love everything about it. But at the same time. I know how stressful I have a small, small YouTube channel and I got like 400 subscribers on it and that shit's stressful. Just answering their stupid questions all the time and then them saying like some bullshit about me like, oh, I could do that or you're doing it wrong, you know, whatever. I stopped making videos. I said, frick it. I'm just freaking uh, procrastinating. It's been like months since I made a video. And people are still commenting on those old ass videos. Still watching them. But, uh, yeah. Got my Discord. Got my haters. But it's just like, it's a lot of stress to be a creator. And just not, if you had the opportunity to sell, just to do it. It's not worth all the, the stress and the drama. Just sell it. Live your life with your wife and kids. And spend as much time with them as you can. Because every moment will not come back again. It's gone. It's here. And then it's gone. Never coming back. Today is the last time you'll ever experience today. It's the last time. Cherish it all.
I think that's the show. Hopefully next week it's same bad time, same bad show. Who knows?